Big topic at the briefing today. The White House also being pressed over the handling of President Biden's two-year-old German Shepherd commander, who has now been removed from the White House campus after going on a biting spree. It seems that he's developed a taste for Secret Service agents. Our next guest specializes in improving behavior of the nation's most aggressive canines. Let's bring in dog training expert and host of the No Bad Dogs podcast, Tom Davis. Tom, hey, Tom, it's been said, and you say this as well, there's no such thing as a bad dog, just a bad owner. Why do you think Commander is biting? Well, I think it's a, the bigger picture of it's his responsibility. You know, from a dog training standpoint, our job is to train the owner of the dog and how to make better decisions and how to be trained and how to behave in any situation. You know, and, and if you're somebody who hires somebody maybe for landscaping or to plow your driveway or to fix your car, you're hiring a professional, an expert to do that. But with dogs, we're hiring, you're hiring us to work with you. And so this is, this is major because there's so many dogs out there that are getting put down and killed and even shot in the street for way less than what's happening. And, you know, uh, there's a great post Joe Rogan just posted about, about imagine if my dog bit 11 people, 11 Secret Service members. Yeah. I mean, this is, it's just, it's really sad for the German Shepherd community because they're great, loyal, smart, intelligent dogs. And the fact that this dog has been able to bite 11 people on staff is, it's frustrating. It's sad. Uh, and, and it's everything that no dog trainer or no dog lover wants to see. I mean, I, there's millions of Americans that are, are probably shaking their head at this, regardless of what you believe in politically, because this is just a shame that this dog is getting the short end of the stick of lack of accountability, structure, and support. So well said, Tom. And I think dog owners and dog lovers all over the country felt the same way when there were so many saying, bad dog, bad dog. Well, you know, a dog like this needs a lot of a, a lot of rules, a lot of barriers, a lot of boundaries. That's super important. But those boundaries, they also they protect those boundaries. So if they ever feel threatened, I mean, is this just a tough environment in general for a German Shepherd who are very protective dogs to have so many different people coming and going, so many strangers? I think it's a tough environment for for any dog. I mean, you got to think you know, dogs come into a home, they live with a handful of family members and they have friends and family coming and going naturally. But this is a, a, a really challenging environment for anybody. But, you know, there's other presidents in the past that have been able to do it successfully. Mm -hmm. And But this isn't, this isn't the first time this has happened. This is now the second dog that's kind of being pushed out the back door mm -hmm. uh, in the So this, this isn't something that is just happening out of nowhere. Again, from an expert professional standpoint, when we see a dog come in and they have all these behavioral problems and then two years later they bring another dog in, same breed with a lot of behavioral problems. And these are probably, knowing the Bidens, uh, they're probably really well-bred German Shepherds. So genetically, they should not have aggression. They should not be biting people. And so this isn't, this isn't a fluke thing. And, and, and I don't think any environment is is suitable when you don't have good control i don't care if you live in the white house or you live you know on the streets yeah. if you don't have yeah. a good leader giving the structure and boundaries good communication then it's going to be challenging for any dog to be successful in this environment and at the end of the day the president to help this dog it's really yeah, what it comes down to you know, I will say, Tom, that the, the fellow who usually takes the dogs out for a walk, Dale Haney, has been at the White House for 50 years. He also looked after Bo, the Obama's dog. He looked after Spot, Mrs. Beasley, and Barney for the Bushes. And, and there was one occasion in the early 2000s where Barney got a little aggressive. Watch this video. Nap time for her. <laughs> Hey, you doing? He goes, boy. Ooh. Did he get you? Do I? He totally got me. I got bit by Barney. Oh, and God. unfortunately, it broke the skin, and I have to be on antibiotics for the next few days. All right, so even the smallest or best behaved dogs in, in a stressful environment can sometimes lash out. But Barney, I think, only did it once. Yeah, and, you know, dogs are not other people's like pinatas. I mean, that's a thing we have in America. And again, this is a bigger picture. And I applaud Fox News for covering this regardless, because this is this is happening every single day. Dogs are getting put down because other people are coming up, sticking their hands in dogs' faces, trying to pet other people's dogs. And, you know, I have a I have a slogan, no bad dogs. I I, 
I really, really believe that, you know, people need to give the dogs respect and boundaries. Yeah. And it's inhumane. You know, command situation, it's an inhumane type of environment. This dog is being uh, let basically to bite people. I mean, that's what's happening the first time. Okay. The second time. Okay. This isn't good. The third time. Okay. We got to do something. Mm. Fourth, fifth, sixth, et cetera. So mm. no, I would agree. Any dog in this situation, you know, that's going to be basically paraded around to just be the best dog at all times, no matter if they're tired, if they're sick, if they're hungry, if they're hurt, or if they're old or elderly, um, are, are supposed to be good. And it's just not the case. I, I think uh, that we have to show dogs a little bit more respect. Well, uh, for men, so many of us, uh, they're our best friends. <laughs> so we uh, wish all well. Thank you very much for coming on to talk about that. Tom, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.